that has really caught my eye since, like, Sylvie. I picked up Sylvie, but uh, the quality of her hair feels like a, a, a dish dish scrubbing pad. It's just, I'm, I'm concerned that Monster High is actually switching a lot of their hair product. Anyway, um, Teresa is big. She's a big doll. And I wanted to take a look at her and see you know, what she's got going on. Um, well, let's get started. I, uh, I promise this time I won't make any vaguely suggestive comments uh, about ships because, oh boy, you guys did not really like the implication that I made last time that Cleo and Gulia were dating. Oh, oh. But seriously, read the back of the box of that one and tell me that that's not what it says. Um, because you gotta pro prove it otherwise to me. So, the new boxes are a lot flimsier. Um, it's basically just the plastic shell, um, than the old ones. This is kind of strange to me. But I like, I like the, um, the logo for Garden Ghouls. I feel like the, the, that's really nice. Um, let's see if the doll itself holds up quality-wise. Oh, jeez. Her hair feels like straw. Um, I did manage to get one that has a fairly nice face-up, and Monster High's been pretty good at face-ups. Um, they kind of, they patched that issue pretty quickly. Um, the issue I'm having right now, though, is how do I even get her out of the box? There's, there's, used, there used to be like cardboard inserts, but the packaging now is basically like this is a, the back is just a doubled over piece of cardboard that you can like slit through in the back to, to get to the other parts of. And I'm, oh gosh. Okay, well, I got the, the head ties out. This is. I'm not really sure, you know what, hang on, let me get some scissors. Scissors obtained! Let's cut this tree! I don't actually want to cut her. I'm just gonna get rid of all of the, the elastics that are on here. Because there are men... Oh my. So I guess, um, part of her display is she's got little things on hooks that you can actually just hook to her wings. Or, or I guess they're technically like her vines or her branches or something. Um, so that's an interesting choice, stylistically, uh, aesthetically, whatever you want to call it. And they're all like insects or flowers. This is actually a a moth, it appears, with a you know woman's body. Um, okay, sure, you can do that, Monster High. I'll 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 worry about that one later. Um, this is another uh, butterfly sort of, and mind, mind you, I am really behind on like the webisodes or the online. Um, I know Adventures of the Ghoul Squad is coming out like next week, I think, but that is very different, and I don't know if they actually released anything specifically for Garden Ghouls. And if if, if they did, can somebody please let me know in the comments so I can check it out? Uh, because I'm, I'm interested. I always loved the movies. Uh, I actually own all of the pre-reboot movies on DVD. Okay, she's like a little beetle girl. Um, hmm, what else can we clip? Oh gosh! Uh, well, the Velcro on her shirt has already popped, so that's impressive. This is a very interesting design choice. Her hands are connected to just like other branches. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you're a tree, but wasn't expecting that stylistic choice. 
Also, I was not expecting the unboxing to take this freaking long. They never take so long to open. So let's keep, you know, chopping away at Teresa. I really don't mean for all of these tree puns to be so really stinking obvious right now. Um, but when they set it up for me so nicely. All right, here we go. Okay, we're getting there. I only have one last um, thing to clip, I guess. Okay, so Teresa is free from the box. Hooray. Um, this is, again, an interesting choice. I'm trying to re-Velcro her top, but it does not wish to cooperate. So it also looks like her branches don't like to stay up. So let's, let's see if, if I can make more sense of how to assemble her by actually reading the instructions. I have never had this much difficulty with a Monster High doll. Um, like, usually they're just, you know, take them out of the box, you're good to go. Ah, uh, that is not the case here. Okay, so apparently this knob will make her grow. It's also theoretically supposed to do something. With her fringes, but it doesn't seem to be working. Um, I'm gonna take off the base, but... Like, I really want these to keep staying up, but it doesn't... They don't wish to. Extended, the branches come back out. And that's the only way. So I'll just quick and dirty review. I don't think I would give this doll to a child. Uh, she seems very flimsy. Uh, too much cranking on the key in her back will probably break off, which is basically the only way that she grows and shrinks. Uh, her wings can only stay extended if she is fully extended, and there's so many little parts that it'd be really easy to lose. Great for a collector, probably not so much for kids. Thank you guys so much for watching! If you are interested in more Monster High videos, you're in luck. I've got a whole bunch of those, and I will link two of them at the end of this video. Check out the, uh, the review I did of the Ghoulia the and Cleo 2 pack that just came out as well. Question of the day, what's your favorite insect? Do you have one? Is that a weird question? I like insects. I like uh, moths. Moths are pretty great. Butterflies, not so much. If you liked what you saw, like it, comment, subscribe to the channel. Love to keep you around. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Later.